Good afternoon, Milford, and welcome to your Friday. I do have uh, three announcements for you and also one special announcement from our athletic boosters. Uh, just a reminder that next Tuesday is our Thought Exchange Facebook Live event. Uh, please head over to the uh, Milford schools.org website and check out the thought exchange please give us your ideas things that you want to hear about also star things that are important to you uh, also wanted to remind you that next thursday and friday are remote learning days uh, in the district march 18th is vaccine day number two so special thanks to kroger um, and to you um, as uh, parents and families uh, as we work through our vaccine and vaccine day on the 18th and remote day on the 19th and um, lastly, for me, I just wanted to remind you that um, 80 of our students, over 80 students, um, have been diligently working, uh, pouring uh, in their heart and soul into Shrek the Musical Junior. They will be recording Shrek the Musical Junior on March the 20th, and it will be available for viewing um, shortly thereafter. And we'll put, push that information out to you um, as soon as we have that available for you. So congratulations to those students. Uh, and also um, drama teacher, Ms. Katie Arbor. And lastly, I'd like to introduce Mr. Todd Moore uh, from the Athletic Boosters, and he is here to give us one special announcement. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Todd Moore and I'm Vice President of the Milford uh, High School Athletic Boosters Club. I'd like to thank uh, John for allowing me an opportunity to speak to everybody today. Um, I'm here to talk about our annual fundraising event, Flight Night. Uh, we've done it for the past 10 years. Uh, there was a lot of uh, rumor and speculation with the COVID in the last 12 months we've all had that we weren't going to be able to have the event this year because it takes place basically right now, uh, second week of March. But um, we had a backup date, and that date is May 20th. It still is going to be at the Oasis Golf and Conference Center. Um, thankfully, the governor loosened some of his restrictions, and we're allowed to have a certain number of people now. Uh, for dinner at a sit-down event. Uh, it's 450. That's where we're capping out right now. Hopefully that can change. Um, our guest speaker this year, thanks to the scheduling change, is uh, former UC basketball coach Bob Huggins, which is somebody that I've had a lot of requests for. Um, I think people in Cincinnati still love Coach Huggins, so we're very excited about the opportunity. As soon as I asked him, he did not uh, blank one bit. He was on top of it and said, yes, count me in. Um, I also this week confirmed former UC player uh, Terry Nelson, who played for Coach Huggins and was part of the 1992 UC Final Four team, the last Final Four team to do that. Um, he's going to be our interest speaker, and I have uh, sports columnist Paul Doherty coming back as MC. So look for future announcements on the Milford websites, the Athletic Boosters website. All that's coming, but I wanted to get the word out to people as soon as possible to start planning. Uh, we will be seating people in tables of 10. We will try to group them as always in, if you're with football or if you're a parent of baseball, we will try to group everybody together. Um, hopefully these restrictions could loosen even more. And if that happens, we will try to get more people in the room because we do anticipate a sellout. Um, we have two types of tickets as always. There's a $50 general admission ticket and there's a VIP ticket that's $135 that will get you a VIP cocktail reception, a photo opportunity with Coach Huggins, a signed 11 by 14 photo from Coach Huggins, a drink ticket, uh, in addition to hearing our speakers and participating in everything else that we'll have going on that night. So um, again, my name's Todd. Feel free to reach me on my cell phone at 680-1681 if you have any questions. You can also call the Athletic Boosters office uh, we hope to see you there, and uh, thanks again to John for allowing me a chance to bring this announcement to everybody. Hope to see you there.